what's going on guys welcome to pokemon tcg center today's video is about ultra necrozma um latest card from cosmic eclipse but it's not standard format it is expanded format why because this card is printed to be used in expanded format luster of downfall attack for one psychic and one metal energy can go for 170. So, if you can hit for 170 with a double dragon energy, then, then this is very good. I mean, it's not very good, it's too broken, it's strong, I mean, but there's a catch. Additionally to Luster of Downfall and 170 damage, you can also discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's also a good sign. But again, there's a catch. You cannot use your Alastor Downfall attack unless your opponent has two or fewer prize cards remaining. How to actually use that attack? Well, there is a two different ways. The first one is to use Silent Lab and simply shut down the ability of on Ultra Necrozma. Thumbs up. Very good, because additionally to that, you can also prevent your opponent's basic Pokemon from using abilities. In expanded format, that can be Shaman, it can be Tapu, Koko, uh, Tapu Lele GX, it can be a Ranguru, Marshadow, so plenty of good um, tech cards. Also, there's a Garbatoxin Garbador, which says that if Garbatoxin Garbador has tool attached to it, not a single ability will work, except for the Garbatoxin. So, that's the way. That's basically the combo. You're running for Ultra Necrozmas and 3-2 line of Trabish and Garbodor, and that's all you really need. Additionally to that, there is a plenty of cards, so let's just go through the deck list so I can explain every single card. Alright, so starting with the Acrobike. Look at the top two cards for the deck, put one of them in your hand, this card, the other card, can help us to go through our cards quickly, can help us to find the Double Dragon Energy. Computer Search is the Ace Pack choice because it's expanded form. It's expanded format. In expanded format, we can choose between powerful um, Ace Trainer cards like Computer Search, Dowsing Machine, Scramble Switch, Scoop Up Cyclone, Gold Potion, and some other you know White Curum, Wake the Knee, uh, Peace cards that can you know hit extra and stuff like that. For example, Giant Scope um, and the G Booster for the Genesec DX. Field Blower times one to remove um, Stadium or Tool from play can also be used for opponent disruption um, or, for example, you know, for that Chaotic Swell Stadium Remover. Um, great Catcher times one, very good um, tech card in this build. Couple Hypnotoxic Lasers, I decided to go with three of them for extra damage. Very important because if you have Choice Band and Hypnotoxic, we can hit for 210 which is enough for the Naga versus Zorak GX, for example, which is one very powerful and popular card in a spinner format. For the setup, two copies of Level Ball and four copies of Mysterious Treasure, additionally two copies of Rescue Treasure being used with two special charge for that Double Dragon Energy Recover, three copies of Trainer's Mail, and then four copies of Versus Seeker, which is the best item card in expanded form in my opinion because it allows you to grab a supporter card from Disco Pile and put it back in your hand. Stadium, obviously, four copies of Silent Lab, Support a lineup, three Cynthia's, one N, and four Johnny Purse for the draw support. Additionally, I'm running one copy of Guzma as a tech, as well as one copy of Zerasic that can still remove special energy or tool card from opponent's Pokemon in play. Again, can be very useful um, for that um, disruption against special energies, for example, and um, two copies of teammates. Once our Pokemon being knocked out, we can use teammates and search a deck for any two cards and put them in our hand. Five tools, which two of them are choice bins for extra damage, and three flow stones for that. No retreat and no ability in Garbodor. And of course, four copies of Double and Dragon Energies. And that is a deck list that I'm going to use in today's video. Hopefully, guys, you're going to like this um, deck list. So if you do, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So yeah, that's it for the winning introductions, let's move on to the game. Let's do it boys. Let's roll with the Necrozma. Hmm. 
Hmm. Carcass trap, floatstone, lily, psychic energies. All right. Let's see. Just wondering how many mulligans before I find basic Pokemon. Luckily for me, not too many. So, starting with two Necrozma. Additionally, special energy, double dragon energy. Silent Lab, boom, just like that. And let's go with a Cynthia. Additionally, I managed to find even more Necrozmas. Let's go with the Choice Band and... Hypnotoxic Laser, just in case if he flipped tails on the coin flip. But if I get heads. Alright, so far so good. Turn 1, a decent. Let's see what can, what can happen on turn 2. Oh, Radicate. Radicate, Radicate, Radicate. Alright. Is this Radicate escape of oh, escape rope? Hmm. Let's go in the front with Necrozma. Draw a card, switch this Pokemon with one of your Banjo Pokemons. Um, maybe this is a Boundaries Cross Radicate. With Super Fang. Maybe it's not. I think it is. Yeah, Juniper without too many questions. Um, okay, I did find a floatstone, so at least I can retreat and knock the Mew out. Additionally, Trainer's Mail into Computer Search for the following turn. Yes, that's a good one. Okay, we can knock the Mew out and take the prize card. And the first prize card is a Guzma, so just in case if I if I stuck in the active position again with let's say something without a flow stone, I can always play Guzma and get out of that position. Oh, there's a Sigilif with a mirror hunter. But unfortunately, oh, it is. Dirty shock. But that's not the good radicate. Level ball. Okay. For another Rattata, and Radicate can also be searched by the level ball. Level ball up to 90. They can search Pokemon for up to 90 HP. We might have a game here. We might have a game here. There is a Skyla being used for Hypnodoxic Laser. All right. Um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna definitely target Radicate with a Guzma. No question about that. Really important to knock the Radicate out with not one, but actually two energies. And um, yeah, that deck should be played just by the triple acceleration energies. Okay. Um, time to just swap Necrozmas. Retreat. And hit for the knockout. So 170. Moving down to four price cards. I still didn't want to play any of the cards in my hand. But also. Okay, another hypnotic laser. It has a coin flip, so right now I need to wake up. Versus Seeker into Skyla, and let's see which trainer card my opponent can take with the Skyla. So remember boys, with the Skyla you can also grab a supporter card. He took Cynthia. Um, okay, I think right now it is definitely time for Garbodor. Before I do that, I'm just gonna get rid of some of the cards in my hand so I can thin my deck a little bit more. For example, Hypnotoxic Laser. Um, additionally, 
I'm gonna throw that laser and teammates as well into my discard pile and grab myself something like a floatstone. Really hard to obtain the last energy, I can definitely say that. And I'm definitely not gonna need Rescue Stretcher, neither Cynthia. Even better, there's a great catcher. Um, can discard both of these cards for the Sigilif. Sigilif can't be knocked out. Mm, Versus Seeker is better card in this uh, at this moment. And the knockout, 107. Um, I can draw two cards, and I know that two double dragon energies are prized. So I might get one, and I did. And again, then just Radata stays alone without Radicate. At least there is a Cynthia, so Cynthia's been used. Um, but already I took four prize cards, and there is yet another Sigilif, which means the next turn I can take the game with Guzman play. There's not gonna be N, maybe a reset stamp, who knows. Maybe my opponent surprised me here with a reset stamp, we shall see. Um, but I highly doubt about that. Alright, so just another energy being attached to Sigilif. There is a Cherish Ball as well. And I have not one but two ability locks. One with the Silent Lab, another one with the Garbodor. So even if... I mean, I don't even have... I don't even have GX... To be honest, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, burst the Seeker for Guzma, and we're gonna say well played to our opponent because we have Guzma for the Sigilif into Necrozma with double dragon energy for the knockout. And I'm wondering if I can take a closer look to my own checklist just to see what type of the Radicate deck he actually played. So the last two cards for the prize cards Travis as well as double dragon energy, and yes, we can take a look. Radicate Break. Um, yeah, that is just expanded. Really, really tough to get a top competitive player right here. So that's the GG. So some type of the grass deck is on the other side of the field. Let's throw the teammates out and let's start the game by placing the Trabish, Floatstone and 1N. Um, third one, really decent I can say that, so additionally I also have Silent Lab. I will try to disrupt my opponent a little bit with a Hypnotoxic Laser, I might get lucky with the heads on the coin flip. Unfortunately not gonna happen. So for now, I'm passing my turn. I don't need to play Trainer's Mail, neither Mysterious Treasure, or Silent Lab and Energy. Knowing that my opponent cannot knock me out at the turn one, um, seems really good. So one Roller Skate's being used. There is a freeze squeeze, Fresh Squeezed Shuckle for a couple, maybe, extra energies to be discarded with that powerful ability. And... Um, when you play this Pokemon from a hand during my search, he didn't discard a single energy card, and I'm wondering why. Um, maybe he misclicked. I would assume that he just misclicked. Let's just call that as a misclick. Oh, no, it wasn't misclick. Uh, there is a sound lab in play. So, yeah, it wasn't misclick. Okay, that can buy me some time, for sure. And meanwhile, I can Mysterious Treasure into another Necrozma. In case of the knockout, I need to be prepared. I already have Silent Lab and Trubbish and Trainer's Mail potentially for the Versus Seeker or Cynthia even better. Gotta keep that Silent Lab available. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Alright, Choice Ben definitely not the card that I can use in this matchup. What I can find with the Acrobike is... Okay, Special Charge. Since I can one-hit knockout Executor, I'm not gonna need... Heaven Toxic Laser anyways, so let's just take the first knockout in the game and first prize card. In the matchup where you are trading one prize for one prize, getting the first knockout is really important.
So there is a Exeggutor with... Okay, okay, I didn't predict that. Still, I have Zerasik if I'm not wrong. Nope, I discarded rather teammates. Oh, he decided to concede the game. He decided to concede the game. But we could easily beat him down anyways. Um, why Swadloon? Oh, for Lebony. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense for 40 damage less with a bodybuilding tumbles. This could be a very tanky one prize attacker, no question about that. But we managed to beat it, so let's move on to the game number three. Okay, third and final game. I'm trying to record normal game, but unfortunately, I can't expand format. Really bad decks coming. Um, um, when I manage to get good opponent, he just decide to concede after literally one or two turns. And in real life, obviously, nobody would do that. Um, but here on TCGO, it's really easy to scoop and just go and play another game. It is how it is. Let's be honest. Okay, so starting with the Trubbish. Acrobat, Hypnotoxic Laser, Silent Lab, Cynthia. Literally four cards can be used, so that can be thin by a lot. Benefi with Aquatube. So far we have Pokemon that can use advantage of free retreat. Lighting Pokemons, Zerora GX. Darkness Pokemons, Dark Ray EX. Water Pokemon, Benefi EX. As long as you have Silent Lab or Garbodor, none of them can use abilities anyways. So, Glaceon with Second Bite as well as a Crystal Ray, really good against um, Evolution Pokemons. Also kill the OGX with a Pure Heart and a Muscle Band. Alright. First things first, why have a toxic laser? Manaphy is being slipped. Acrobike potentially into Necrozma. Yeah, okay. I could maybe try to search Floatstone with a trainer's mail. Rather gonna use that Necrozma on the bench. I don't know how many of them has been prized. Perfect. That's a very nice scenario for me. I'm just gonna retreat and not gonna even bother playing a trainer's mail for now. Alright, maybe I just decide to go with computer search for the next turn um, into the double dragon energy so I can knock the mana fee out. Um, let's just wait for a moment. Okay, neither Nintel's luminous barrier will affect me anyways. All right, what's going next? Energy on the Keldeo and a Colrus for five. That's it. All right, Manaphy cannot retreat. Um, each of your Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it has no retreat. Manaphy, unfortunately, doesn't have one. Um, interesting thing in expanded format uh, for water Pokemons, Aqua Patch, as well as Max Elixir. Oof, right now I'm actually too greedy. Versus Seeker, I'm gonna go with the Versus Seeker. Um, yeah, I'm very greedy. Let's just be honest. Um, computer search into one copy of Double Dragon Energy and then Computer Search and um, for, with Computer Search and then Versus Seeker for nothing less but for the Cynthia, for the fresh hand of six new cards and hopefully for the Garbodor. Um, okay, I don't see Garbodor, however, I see another Travish, which can be used. It's not that I really want to put him on the bench. Neither use my Rescue Strike. So for now, I'm just looking to knock my Mana Feet out, drop two price cards, and wait to see how my opponent can respond back. I have three Junipers in my hand, so I might even decide to go with the Professor Juniper. It all depends. What I'm also looking forward will be a... Okay, I don't need actually 
uh, Hypnox Laser because I'm hitting for 170. 170 Keldeo can be knocked out, Glaceon can be knocked out, Nidalus can be knocked out, so whatever will be promoted in the front against this Necrozma, this Necrozma will just knock that out, so it's simple as it is. Hitting for 170, 200 with the Choice Band, 210 with the Hypnotoxic Laser, so even Zorak GX can be one hit knocked out, which is just amazing. Alright, so there's one time map. And another Colrus. And another Colrus for five. Alright. My turn. Um, okay, let's see if we... No, we don't. Um, I'm just gonna grab another Necrozma, put it on the bench. Any other card that I have right now actually don't need, don't, I don't need them. So I'm hoping to find maybe, okay, Phil Blower can be used, let's be honest. Um, additionally, Double Dragon Energy can be attached and Luster of Down. Uh, I was hoping maybe to get a great catcher so I can catch the kill deal out and knock him out for another two prize cards. I couldn't get that. So with another energy card, Sonic Edge can knock me out for sure. Then I can respond with a knockout with my Ultra Necrozma. N is not the best supporter at this moment. Let's be honest. If I N, I will just end my opponent down to 5 and end my, down, my hand down to 3. But still, everything is better than these cards that I have right now. And I might even just decide to Mysterious Treasure one of those two Silent Labs for additional Necrozma or just for Fail to Search. We shall see. Of course, against some other matchups, you're not going to put so many Banshee Pokemons. You're just going to play maybe with two, maybe with one Garbler and one Trubbish and one Necrozma. Um, it all depends against what type of the deck you're going to play. Uh, Mysterious Treasure for that Silent Lab into another Necrozma. Why not? And another GG. So I couldn't even do anything before my opponent just just decided to scoop the game. And yet another, unfortunately, not the top competitive deck. So anyways guys, you have at least the deck list and this is the deck list that I use in today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, let me know about the deck list. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.